I'm Alan Spears with Occupy Democrats, and in some truly stunning breaking news, Donald Trump and his campaign were devastated to learn that Kamala Harris is quickly overtaking him in the polls. Now, as Harris begins her second week of campaigning on her own platform, uh, we've already seen that the Democrats have completely rallied behind her and the energy in the base is palpable. And while we don't know as of yet who Harris is going to pick as her running mate, we do have some pretty big names as potential contenders, and regardless of who she ultimately picks, they are going to be leagues better than Trump and Vance. Now, this incredible start and energy behind Harris has also helped her financially as she set a record-breaking $82 million raised over the course of just 24 hours. Furthermore, it would seem that Harris is one of the first presidents to really tap and lean into the younger generation and the online culture surrounding them. We've seen a variety of different Kamala Harris memes that she and her team have seemingly fully embraced and are using to elevate their outreach to the younger generations. Her energy, education, and experience are coming together in a perfect trifecta, it would seem to be the perfect Democratic candidate, and she is quickly surpassing Donald Trump in the polls, which does bring us to our breaking story today. Now, with Biden no longer seeking re-election and with his endorsement of Harris, we've seen the Democrats rally behind Harris, something to the tune of around 95% of Democrats approving of her being the candidate. However, it would seem that the support for Harris extends potentially beyond just the Democratic Party. Now, in a breaking story, according to Newsweek, several of these new polls uh, have suggested a tight race between Harris and Trump and that Harris may already be pulling stronger numbers than Biden. And it's important to remember that Biden and Trump were pretty neck and neck with possibly Trump having a one to two point lead. Now, in some truly stunning news, uh, the poll that was conducted found that 95% of Biden supporters are continuing to stick with Harris, which isn't that surprising. But what is surprising is that she is winning over 5% of Trump's former supporters. Now, while 5% on its face may not seem like that much, it's important to recognize the fact that Trump will more than likely receive anywhere from 70 to 80 million votes. And if Harris is pulling 5% of that, that's about 3.5 to 4 million people she has managed to pull over the course of just one week of campaigning. Now, according to this CNN poll conducted by SSRS, uh, we've seen Harris resonating with the younger generation a lot stronger than Biden was able to. Furthermore, in this poll, we've seen that Harris has only continued to perform and poll with both black voters and female voters. All the while, Trump has lost support in all three of these categories, as much as dropping 7% with black voters. Further proof of Harris having the Democrats aligned behind her, 86% say that she's someone they'd be proud to have as president. Around 84% agree with her on issues that matter most to them, and around 83% think that she represents the future of the Democratic Party. Furthermore, around 77% think that she will unite the country and not serve to divide it, and about 75% all think that she has a good chance of beating Donald Trump in the election. Now again, as we've learned from just this past month alone, a lot can happen and a lot can change in a quick amount of time. So there is a lot of work left to be done up until the election. Now the odds of Harris being elected as president in the November have only continued to improve, especially over the past 24 hours where she has been seen uh, leading uh, pretty much every poll. And as of July 23rd, there were multiple outlets, uh, Bet365 and William Hill, were offering 7 to 4 odds of Harris being elected. Uh, now, that was reduced to 6 to 4 and then later adjusted to 11 to 8, but still incredible odds compared to her rival. Additionally, we saw that in this same poll, it was suggested that if Harris were to go up against Trump right now, she would win. And furthermore, she would win in a three-way fight against Trump and RFK Jr. Again, this survey of just over a thousand voters put Harris at 44% chance with Trump at 42. 
Now, while we are still a few months away from the general election, suffice it to say that Harris has had an incredible start, possibly the best possible start she could have had. And with the fact that Harris is already pulling away 5% of Trump supporters, it's important to remember that there's there's a lot of time left for her to win over a lot of different independent or undecided voters. There's absolutely been a large portion of voters in the country that neither really supported President Biden nor Donald Trump and found themselves kind of between a rock and a hard place. And regardless of what you might think of those people and how informed or misinformed they may be, their votes are important and having the undecided and having people in major swing states like Pennsylvania, uh, you need these people to be on your side, and it would seem that Harris is pulling this off rather successfully. And I fully expect another surge in support and possibly drawing even more supporters once Harris announces her running mate. But in the meantime, it is nice to have a candidate who has seemingly rallied the Democrats and many independents and even a few Republicans behind her as we try to move forward and find this sense of unity in the country that we've been missing for about a decade. But what really matters is that you mark your calendars Tuesday, November 5th, make sure you show up to the polls and cast your vote and let's make sure we see the prosecutor beat the convict.